Hello, internet. If uh, any of you out there are style heads and you like good eye-popping style that is also understated, I've got something that I think you're really gonna enjoy. Um, I'm Nate, I'm here at Forbes Waterloo Mazda, and this is our Kuro Edition CX-9 2021, and it is beautiful. I'm, I'm gonna start right here. These are the Jet Black Mica uh, exterior mirrors. Now, what this is, is this is gonna tie in to a little bit of a theme that's gonna go all the way through the vehicle. So you've got that beautiful gloss finish there that comes down to these alloy wheels. Not only is this obviously just eye-popping and stunning based on that beautiful gloss black finish. But like all of Mazda's wheels, these were designed in a wind tunnel that will actually pull brake dust out and make sure that it doesn't accumulate, thereby ruining a lot of the visual experience that you got in there. Now we continue that theme all the way around to the front here. This absolutely gorgeous, stunning grill. I don't know how many of the grills you can see in the background. I think Mazda's got beautiful grills across the board, but this gloss finish really makes this one pop in a way that, as I said before, is, is both noticeable, but understated, okay? And then from there, the new, the new generation of CX-9s also took a little bit of an adjustment to the body style that really helps communicate that feel of motion, even when it's stationary. If you follow this line, it goes all the way across, past the side mirror, and just even when it's sitting still, just you can kind of feel the vehicle moving in its own sort of way. So if you think what I just showed you is gorgeous, you just wait until you see what I got inside. All right, so what do you think? Uh, I think it's gorgeous. Uh, let me show you some of the things that really, really stand out in this vehicle and, and this Kuro edition. Remember, understated style is the name of the game. You've got this gorgeous, supple red leather seat behind me, but it's not just red. It's not eye-popping, it's not loud. It's, it's subtle and it'll, it, it speaks to a little bit more subtlety of emotion. Uh, and over here, you've got this gorgeous red stitching, both on the side and here on the, on the wheel that's gonna help tie it all in together where you would otherwise have a wood grain finish in the higher CX-9 trims, you've got this beautiful metallic black matte finish that again is part of the theme of the vehicle. The real sense of cohesion of style in here is very, very nice. Everything ties together great. But moving past the style, the things that really, really blow my mind with this CX-9 is its comprehensive suite of safety features. I don't know if you can see this, this hole in the dashboard here. It's not there for show. It does have a functionality, I swear. Um, what that is, is there's actually a screen in there that's upside down, but that reflects onto your screen directly in front of you the right way, and also directly below the wheels of the vehicle in front of you. And it shows you everything from your speed to what you've got the speed of your cruise control set to, to your following distance to, and this one blew my mind, to the speed limit. Like the amount of times I've been on the road, not sure what I'm supposed to be driving because I haven't seen a speed limit to sign. If I could just look at my windshield right below the car ahead of me and know the speed limit at all times, it would, it would change my life. Um, moving on from there, because while that is great, there's so much more here to show you. Um, I'm gonna show you this nine inch display screen here. Uh, this is where your full suite of convenience features and everything like that, this is your central hub, okay? Your, uh, your audio, uh, Bluetooth control, and on top of your Bluetooth control, you've got uh, Android Auto and uh, Apple CarPlay. So there's seamless connectivity with your phone to actually make all of that work much better. You've got your steering wheel controls here for everything from your music to your cruise control. And then there's this thing. If you've never actually worked with one of these things, it looked complicated the first time I saw it and it took all of maybe 30 seconds sitting in the vehicle fiddling with it to understand how versatile it is. You don't ever have to take your hand off of your center console. They've designed these vehicles in such a way to make it so you, the driver, don't have to think about anything except the joy of your drive. And having this right here, being able to go up, down, left, right, all of that, just look and never having to take your eyes off the road except for the slightest thing here, I can't tell you how handy that is. Now let me show you what we got back there. All right, here we are. Um, let, let, me, let me see if I can't give us a little bit of privacy. All right, sorry about that. Um, I wanna show you this thing here. Uh, it's not just the driver who has control of everything that goes on in this car. Um, your passenger's comfort has been taken into consideration in this CX-9 too. This console here not only has separate ventilation for your rear seat passengers, but it's separate It's separate from the other, uh, the other console so they can program their own heat, their own intensity of fans here. There's also buttons here for the 
heaters in these seats because it's not just the front rows that are uh, that are heated. It's the it's the second row captain's chairs. Now, speaking of said second row captain's chairs, um, they've actually upgraded these too. So if you can see the one right in front of me, I'll also show you on this one. They fold flat, which helps with everything from moving around to storage. But on top of that, they've also adjusted the level to which the seat comes down, which doesn't seem like much, but what you'll notice is it used to come down to here, which meant it was hitting the seat in front of it a lot more. That is no longer the case. They've built into this angle a whole lot more space for the comfort of your guests going in and leaving the vehicle. Um, now in the back, you've got uh, cup holders to match those ones there. And what is really cool about both these seats and these ones is they've got built-in seat belt sensors, which anybody who cares about the safety of their guests will really appreciate because it'll tell you on an individual basis exactly which seat and which person in your car hasn't buckled up their seat belts and you can go ahead and hold them accountable because let's be real, safety first, right? Let me show you the trunk. All right, and here we are, we're at the back where uh, a trunk is a trunk is a trunk. Except when it's not. Let me show you something. First thing I noticed all by myself when I was checking out this vehicle was this. I'm clearly and obviously way too close, except when I'm not. Um, and then my manager was kind enough to uh, alert me to this fancy function by pressing the button when I wasn't paying attention and uh, scaring the living daylights out of me. But fortunately, I'm alive. I'm still here. He thought it was hilarious. Uh, I didn't until I did. You know, funny's funny, right? Um, and then of course I do want to show you this. If I hold this up without uh, touching any buttons and swing my foot beneath there, as long as I have this with me, the vehicle will sense that I'm here and it'll do that. So if you're ever walking up to the back of the vehicle with your hands full and you can't get into your pocket to push this thing, you don't actually need to push anything. You just need to have the keys with you. Um, and then of course you've got little bit of additional storage space beneath the floor there, which is really, really nice. And you've got a couple of hidden compartments there because we all have valuables and things that we don't want to leave in plain sight for people when they're walking by. On top of that, maybe the most impressive thing back here is the seats. They've, uh, they've made the seats about as user-friendly as any folding seats that I've seen. First things first, the headrests fold to afford more space in the front, but let me show you how easy this is, watch. Oh, wait, wait. there we go. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And just like that, you're done. So yeah, as I said, a uh, trunk is a trunk is a trunk unless it's not. So here's hoping that uh, you think this Kuro Edition CX-9 is as incredibly fantastic as I do. Um, if you do, please come on down to Forbes Waterloo Mazda, ask for Nate, and I'd love to take exceptional care of you. You have yourself a great day.